I am Marcel Pinas, a visual artist. Um, uh, I'm from the Maroon tribe in Suriname. So in Suriname we have uh, in the interior, so six different group of Maroon community. Uh, the Maroon are slaves that were brought to Suriname and those slaves that run away and hide in the forest and create their own culture. The Maroon and the indigenous people, the native, uh, if you look at um, the political situation, um, it's like we don't exist. But my work as an artist is deal about the situation, the political situation. Uh, I see my work as the voice of the community. Uh, the team I'm working with is the culture, is to preserve the culture. Um, and I do that in different ways. Um, one, I educate my own community about the value of who they are, of their culture. I educate outside people about the value of the Maroon community uh, in the world. Now, at this moment, I'm in Berlin at the IFA Gallery to participate in this exhibition of God is Moving in Places. Um, in this exhibition, I have expressed myself on two works, and these works are the Afakaskifi, and the other one is Before, uh, and both are dealing with the Afaka symbols. The Afaka symbols are symbols created by a man called Afaka <clears throat> at the beginning of the 20th century in the east of Suriname. So he got a dream to create a script for his community uh, to learn them how to write, uh, not in the Western way, but in the traditional way. So this script has 56 symbols. So and in, with these symbols, you can uh, write, you can communicate in the Njuka language. So you have different type of uh, maroon, and the Njuka is the second biggest uh, community of the maroon. They started to use the script uh, to communicate with each other, um, and then the church um, used the script uh, uh, for, to, to promote the church and they didn't want to use it anymore. So I didn't know about the script until I started to do research about it. So when I, when I found out that, you know, my ancestors were able to create a script, for me it was like, wow, that's something to hold on. That is something I'm proud of. So from that moment on, I started to use the script in my painting but also in sculpture. It's a way of how to preserve. So it's like I, I do two types of work. My personal work, and I'm also working in the community because I'm the voice of the community. So through the history, we have been going through a lot of difficulties. Um, in the Surinamese uh, community, it's like the Maroon and the native, we don't exist. We don't have a voice. But you have to educate your own people about the value of um, the, uh, what they are able to do, that they are also human beings, that everybody is unique. You have to develop what is in you and sell that to the world and express that. One of the biggest projects I'm doing is in, is in the east of Suriname, is the Mungo project. Can art and culture help change the community? Because the, the community I'm from, uh, in the 80s, we had a civil war, and the community is total, is destroyed. So through art and culture, uh, I try to change that. So I invest in the community. This is um, the piece I call before. Um, this is also a way of expressing myself about and make it also feasible for my own community. And for example, this is four, is four, and this is B. So uh, B, four, two, 
uh, that means um, your history is important. Now, th those are the messages that I want uh, uh, transfer to other people to understand how important your history is for your future. So, for example, this one is go, you go, go. This is is ka. Uh, this is 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 ya. This one is b. This one is fo. This one is ki. Uh, this one is is tu. For example, this is my name. So, with all these um, 56 symbols, I, I mean, you can communicate in, in the uh, traditional Maroon, Maroon language. It, it carries also a historical uh, legacy with it. Uh, and if you look at that way, you know, it's like I hold a mirror for the world. You know, guys, who are you? What makes you special? What makes you different? Express that. And you know, proud people will not hurt other people. And that's the energy we want to share for the world, that we have to live in harmony with each other. And now, if you look at the world, the, the people who live in harmony with each other are the maroon and the native that live in the interior. So the world can learn from us.